is happening? Welcome to another episode of my Cheese Photo Walks where I'm sharing the street photography experience one shot at a time. So in this episode and the one next week I am covering the Notting Hill Carnival. So this is happening every year the last weekend of August. So obviously this year is a bit special because it didn't happen in the last couple of years because of the pandemic. So usually the carnival is happening over three days. So on Saturday you have like a steel pan competition. Usually it's happening in a park in, you know, in Notting Hill on the west side of London. On Sunday you have Jouvert early in the morning at 6 a.m. So that, that video will be covering Jouvert. Uh, that's kind of like the street party that is launching carnival. And then it's followed by um, kind of a family day. So Sunday is like family day. You, you have parades, you start to have the sound system and you know the food stall and everything. But it's considered to be the family day. And then Monday, which is a bank holiday in the UK, it's a day off. That's when the big crowd comes in. So you have all the parades, all the mass bands. This is when everything goes, all the sound systems are out all the, you know, the food stalls and everything. It's interesting to note that it is the biggest street festival in Europe. You know, you've got more than 2 million people showing up in West London for the Notting Hill Carnival. So it's quite an interesting fact that the biggest street festival in Europe has Caribbean roots, okay? I cannot do justice to the carnival because to explain, you know, the history and how it is rooted in Caribbean culture, you would need like a proper documentary. But in a nutshell, it was started by the Caribbean community in West London in the 60s, okay? To put things into context, because having context is important, you know, especially for an event like Jouvert. Um, it's interesting, it's, you need to understand that back in the days, in the Caribbean, right? I'm talking about the slavery days. The enslaved did not have any outlet to express their creativity. It was all about working hard every day for free. Uh, it was a life of pain and suffering. There was nothing to look forward to, right? Uh, most of the plantation, you had to work every day. Maybe if the, the slave owner, you know, or the, the plantation owner, uh, was a Christian, you could have a day off on Sunday. So you could rest and you could go to church. But there was no yeah, time for celebration, time to be creative and stuff like that. So when carnival, the early stages of carnival, uh, started to be tolerated and people, I mean, the enslaved had like one day when they could express themselves, you know, during the whole year, Obviously, you can imagine how crazy it would get, like, that's your only little window when you can, you know, just relieve the pressure. And when you go to carnival and you see, like, that bacchanal fever, <laughs> you need to understand where it's coming from. I think it's important to mention. Another thing to mention is that there are, there are as many carnivals are there are Caribbean islands, okay? All the carnivals, all, all the islands, they have their different flavors, you know? So I'm from Martinique, French Caribbean island, and our carnival is different from the carnival from Barbados or Trinidad, right? All the Caribbean islands are, have different carnivals. There's a lot of commonalities, but there's a few, you know, different stuff going on. And I'm not even mentioning the carnivals from Latin America, because, you know, everybody knows, like, Carnival from Rio to Brazil, right? With the samba and everything. Jouvert means, uh, in French, in French, <laughs> jour, jour ouvert, which means opening of the day. So it's basically what's launching Carnival. So in the Caribbean, it's happening early in the day, and that's what's launching Carnival. So that's the same thing that we are replicating here in, in London. So for the Notting Hill Carnival, Jouvert is on the Sunday, 6 a.m. in the morning. When you go to Jouvert, you will see, obviously, the party goers, you know, the people who are here to throw paint and, you know, powder, you know, flour, syrup, you name it. It's a bit like the Diwali festival in the Indian community. So you will have the crowd that is, you know, having fun with the music, smoking, drinking and throwing a lot of stuff, you know, on each other. And then you will also, among, among the, the crowd and the midst of all this, you will have the people who are, you know, specific characters 
they have behaviors rooted in the Caribbean carnival folklore. An example of that would be, for example, the Jab molasses. So that would be the guys who have like black syrup and molasses on them, you know, and also horns. Basically, they are interpreting like the devil. So somebody who doesn't know where that is coming from, it can be um, not scary, but you know, you can wonder what the hell is this? You know, so they have all of that black syrup on them, the horns. Sometimes they have a bit of flesh in the mouth. And um, so we have that back home, we call them Negbosiwo in Martinique and Guadeloupe. So I can show you a few pictures of that actually. And the history of the Jab Molasses is that, um, again, back in the slavery days when uh, the enslaved had the opportunity to express themselves during carnival, they would basically mock the planter, you know, the planters and the slave owners, they would mock them basically representing the devil, devil, representing evil is a way for them to represent the masters because they were causing lots of pain and suffering, you know, towards the enslaved. They would represent the masters like the devil. But from the planter or the slave owner point of view, looking, you know, the slaves, dressing up like that, you know, with syrup on them, all black with the horns and everything. They would just think that it was like African folklore or like maybe some type of voodoo, but it wasn't the case. It was just that the, most of the characters that you see in Carnival were a way to, to mock, you know, the, the masters. That's, that's the story of it. Like I said, there's different island, different carnivals, so there are other things that I'm, I'm seeing in Jouvert that I don't know the significance of. So the jab molasses, I definitely know. But for example, the guy, there was a guy with a lantern. So I can show you the picture now. A guy with a lantern, I have no idea what, what the significance of it, what's the significance of it. There's also some guys holding a mattress, you know, people holding a mattress and then sometimes dropping the mattress on the ground and jumping on it. I have no idea what it means. I did ask a few people online. I'm still waiting for feedback. From a photography point of view, it's a very tough event to cover because of the powder, the paint and everything that is thrown. You need to protect your gears, you need to protect your camera. Uh, I had the GoPro, I had to protect the GoPro. The first time I went and tried to cover it, you know, as a photographer, it was in 2019 and I didn't have no protection. I actually lost the camera. <laughs> One of my cameras broke two days after, after Joubert. And um, so this year I came prepared, man. I mean, all my, my gears were wrapped up. My GoPro was wrapped up and I had like a combination, you know, like full on combination. I was ready. The only thing is I managed to only yeah, get one hour and 30 minutes of foot video footage instead of the, the three hours. I stayed for three hours, but yeah, I didn't basically, the, 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 the GoPro was so wrapped up, I didn't hear when uh, the battery died. So unfortunately not, you know, I feel like the best shot will not covered by video, but it's okay. Have a nice week. You know where to see my work, it's on gs.mq. And that's it, I hope I see you here next week, same place, same time. I'm good, darling, for now. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Breakfast, juicy. Hello.
Yeah. How are you so clean, bro? Complete opposite. Eh? What the hell? I'm just trying to say you, I'm you're not bro. getting in. You're nah. not getting in. Yeah. You know what? This is how I want it to come out. <laughs> Next time you need to. You need to. Yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, have a good one, here. So brave. I mean, that's a roller flex. Oh no, it's a Yashika. Look at him. Oh my God, that's nothing. Come on. <laughs> no, but I like. You got this. Yeah. You are so brave. Can I take a picture of you?